Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. The mail's here. Come on. Bye, guys. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail. What's going on, everybody? Look, you're a big league. We're going to do a short uh, mail bin here. Uh, we got, uh, looks like only six packages. So, uh, not a ton of stuff, but um, I'm going to see what we can get in here. Uh, going to be a busy day here in the shop. Uh, it's already been a kind of a, a pretty busy Monday around, or some Monday, Saturday around the house. But uh, uh, mail day, uh, PSA order just came in uh, surprisingly quick. Um, I think it's because the other one went about 40 days past due. So, I think they threw this in a rush for me on the house. Uh, Turned around was like 10 days. It was crazy but anyway um mail day psa reveal and then uh we got some 18 and 17 football product that we're going to open one or the other of course the astros play tonight great game last night looking forward to seeing uh drinking on uh, tuesday you know, there's gonna be a, a lot of action down there at the ballpark thought about getting tickets but man just got so much going on but it's okay though it's okay i think it's cool how people make these little boxes yeah, take the, yeah, the small the, box and make it even smaller. <laughs> it, uh, you know, shows some uh, creativity. Well packaged. Well packaged. Look at all that. Peanuts and everything. I used to say those peanuts. So I had, like, boxes full of them. I was like, man, I don't need all those peanuts. If they're edible peanuts, I'd have been down. I like peanuts. Salted, unsalted. Um, oh, man, I got the tape stuck on the glove. That's going to be a bummer. Oh, now it's stuck on the other glove. That's how it goes, right? Let's see if I can get it stuck on the table here. Come on. There it goes. A little lot here, or with a single card? Oh, yeah, this was a nice Brady lot. So I've been picking up these nice Brady's here. They're in, uh, you know, mint condition here, looking to produce some dimes. And actually, the past couple submissions, like you saw in the last one, had about four or five. I think 0, 03 to 09 Brady's uh, that came back tens. Um, so I think that in terms, well, in terms of Brady's hobby, it's going to be one of those that's sustainable um, for many, many years. So you know, the rookies are obviously out, you know, out of this world in pricing, um, but. Um, if you get some of the uh, earlier cards, three, five, six, seven, eight, you know, um, that look really good, and uh, engrave those out, uh, come back as a dime, um, make a pretty nice turnaround on those. So these look really, really good. Um, there's a nice chrome. What year is this one? Oh six. See what I'm saying? Got a six. Yeah, you know, I got the camera. Feet is messed up there. It's this one five. Five. I think I was looking for nine and under, and I just looked for the the ones that I didn't already have. There's a nice uh, 05 score, uh, six Donruss, um, 06 Don. I think actually I bought from this guy. He's got a ton of Brady stuff. There's a not 09. This is the XPX threads. It's a beautiful card. Look at that. So we'll take a look at those and um, see what we can do with them. But um, I think overall it's a very very good investment, short term, long term, whatever. The goat, right? All right, next package. What do you guys thoughts on the Grinky trade? Um, what's amazing to me is not that we got Grinky; it's the fact that the Yankees, Boston didn't do really squat. Um, uh, lucky that big league. Oh, this was a uh, this was a uh, nineteen certified. I won the Cowboys. I don't really do many of these breaks, but I've been actually trying to, um, you know, the group breaks. But I got into a couple. Um, so I got the Cowboys. The good news is I'm a Cowboys fan. Uh, the bad news is the Cow you know, they didn't really have any star rookies out this year. I mean, you got a very talented team, but uh, this is a Pollard. Uh, this is the orange to 299. So it's a decent card, right? And the good news is there's a lot of Cowboys fans out there. So um, there's a nice deck. I wasn't wondering if they were going to send the base stuff. Uh, so Byron Jones, this is actually a pretty good and certified game gamers. Um, so I'm going to assume since it's a certified gamers, it's game worn, right? Game. Encloses game use materials guaranteed by me. Enclosed game used. No, that's cool. Game used. And then uh, another part, right? This is, I guess, the base. These aren't numbered. Um, 
And then he sent the base cards. That's cool. I was hoping he would because I remember watching going, man, I'm getting killed here. Uh, seal of approval. Uh, cool. These diamonds are actually pretty darn good. One, two of those. Three of those for Zeke. Uh, and then gold team Zeke. Gold team Dion. Rookie of Jalen Jelks. Don't know much about him at all. And another gold team Dion. So uh, that's it. Um, what was, I don't know. I think I paid 50, so hopefully I can get my 50 bucks back out of there. Actually, I think I will with those uh, Pollard certified cards. Um, like I said, Cowboys fans, like Yankees fans, they got to have their fix, and they will get down to it. All right, next package. Those are fun, though. It, you know, it's like I said, it's, uh, it's a gamble, right? You know, you go random teams. I got crushed on one. What was it? Um... It was, it was baseball, and I got the Cubs. I was like, oh, the Cubs, they got squat in terms of what they were doing. So this was another certified break. So the good news is I actually won the Cardinals. The bad news is there wasn't junk in it. I think I got three base cards. This was one that was really disappointing. But, like I said, it's all risk, right? Sometimes you can hit, which I did on a couple. Uh, I think one of them may be in here. Um, you know, I took a really, really big long shot. On something that should come in next week, but I was like, dude, please send the base cards because I'll have nothing in there. Uh, this is a Byron Murphy rookie, just a base rookie, and uh, a Fitz, and one other card, a Diamonds, Patrick Peterson. So, yeah, that was a rough one. That one did not pay off, was not in my favor. All right, next. Should be a nice mail week next week. Yep, this is one that paid pretty darn well. Player case break. And I don't know why he sent this. Oh yeah, this was the this was the one I want. The one the Cubs. I didn't watch it. I don't know who they had in this in in eighteen Bowman. So whoever Nick uh, Horner is. Um, uh, two of these guys I have no idea who he is, if he's still in their system. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm going to even look at the camera. Uh, Nick Horner. I was hoping, like, maybe I got I got just a feature on this thing. There we go. Uh, maybe be like a Rizzo insert or a Bryant or something. We'll see. Uh, this looks to be base. Maybe there'll be some refractors in here. So I'll take that back. I guess I did go kind of wild on the uh, group breaks. Uh, Rizzo, hit it! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the eighth wonder of the world. I won't do it again. <laughs> Rizzo. For the Albertos. Nice shine on that one. Another Rizzo. There's a nice Baez. Is that the uh, Neophyte? I can't remember. Just the base refractor. Refractor, yeah. So maybe, you know, I, I forget about Baez and, and Rizzo and the, and the base cards, right? Refractor. Nice. Baez, not Baez. Power producers, Bryant, and a Baez. So, if you are a Cubs fan, all of these will be in the store. Hopefully by tonight, or at the latest tomorrow. And then somebody tell me what the deal is with Nico Horner. <laughs> Nico. All right, over here, over there, two more, no, one more. Now this was the one that paid off, I think. And I gotta be honest, it may only be one card. She is. Oh, good. There was some other cards in there. I didn't catch the whole break. That's nice to get a base card out of there. So these were... I think I need this pack fresh, too. Oh, it looks like there's an atomic one back there, too. So there's early indicators. Early indicators atomic. Are these numbered? No. 
and then there's the uh, the auto. So I had one of these and I sold it. Um, it was secondary market, right? So it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a dime. It wasn't gem mint. Uh, the car was really really good though. But I think the uh, there was a couple of small things in the surface here. So obviously the idea was um, you know get in at a good price to where you can get a card. Uh, right now this is going anywhere from this is not the refractor, right? This is just the base. So this is going anywhere from 120 to 150, right? Um, and then in a 10, it's like three plus. So uh, the goal is here to send this out to PSA and hope she comes back a dime. Uh, but beautiful, really happy about that. I was pretty excited when when he pulled it because, like I said, you, it was a player break, and you either hit it or you don't. Um, all right, guys, that's the mail. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, outside the one lot, everything else was uh, was group breaks, and like I said, it's typically nothing. It's not something I do, but I don't know. I've been I don't know feeling a little. I know, a little more risk-taking lately, but uh, that's it, guys. Make sure you subscribe over here, uh, and uh, we'll check you later in the day. Got some more vids coming up. Thanks.